Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So today is a Tuesday and I'm back with another AdMats video teaching you one question of AdMats at a time. There's a whole new playlist on this. You can check it out on my channel if you want to. So today's question is from chapter 2 and we're going to tackle this question. Given that 3 and H are the root of x squared minus kx plus 5 equals to 0, find the value of k and h. So this question is actually very simple but a lot of people twist things up and they get confused and the reason is because they don't understand the meaning of the root. So what do you mean by, okay they say that 3 and h are the roots of this equation but what do you mean by root? Well the root simply means the x. Okay, one thing that I want you to remember here is that root equals to x. So if you know this, you would know that the first thing that you want to do here is to substitute um, x equals to 3 into the equation. Because we have two roots in this equation and one is a number. So you are going to substitute x equals to 3 into this equation. So when you do that, you get 3 square minus 3k plus 5 equals to 0. So you get 9 minus 3k plus 5 equals to 0. So when you have k and when you have a number, it's so easy. Just move all the unknowns to one side or the numbers to the other side and you will get your answer. So we'll have 14 here. Um, equals to 3k and k equals to 14 over 3 okay so it's always difficult to find um, stuff when you have two unknowns but now that you have only one unknown left it is super easy so now that you know k you have a new equation this is your previous equation and I'm going to write the new equation here x squared minus k which is 14 over 3 x plus 5 equals to 0 and previously what I told you to remember is that root is equals to x okay that's what root is and so they have said that h is the root right so it means that h equals to x h equals to root h equals to x I hope you understand that so you can go ahead and substitute h into this. So we get h square minus 14 over 3h plus 5 equals to 0. And how you would solve this is you would use the quadratic equation, which is another thing that you should definitely memorize. So the quadratic equation that you have to memorize is negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a when you solve something and you can't solve it by typing into your calculator you have to use the quadratic equation so this is something that I want you to memorize as well I'll write it down somewhere and as you apply it more and more often it would just um, go into your memory like trust me and so the next thing that you want to do here is to substitute all your values into this quadratic equation so that you can find h. I'm going to erase this part. Okay, so before we actually apply this equation to this, I would just say that since we have a fraction here, it makes things really difficult because you have negative b here and it's going to be a huge value and you're going to complicate it even more. So I'll just bring the equation here and what we can do to actually make this equation a little bit simpler is by multiplying the entire thing by 3. Okay, so you can multiply this by 3 
and you can only do this if there is an equal zero remember this if it is just an expression let's say it's just h, h square minus 14 over 3 h plus 5 it is an expression you can't simply multiply everything by 3 but if it is an equation meaning there's an equal sign here you can just memorize everything but you can just multiply everything by 3 you have a 0 here when you multiply 3 by 0 you still end up with 0 and the rest of it you just have to multiply by 3 so you get 3h square minus 14h plus 5 equals to 0 now that you have all whole numbers and not fraction, it will just make your life a lot easier. And so I'll continue here. Negative b plus minus b square minus 4ac. Just substitute it. So over 2a. And you might want to bring up your calculator to calculate this value inside here. And... What you have from here is 14 plus minus square root 16. If you type into the calculator, you'll find that this is 16 and over 6. Since square root 16 is 4, you will just write that plus minus 4 over 6. So from here, you would separate it into two equations. One is 14 plus 4 over 6. The other one is... 14 minus 4 over 6 and from here you have two different answers your x will be 3 and the other x will be 5 over 3 now if you look back to the question what they're asking for is actually h so sorry it's h so now just Read the question again and see if you have found your answer. So find the value of k and h. You have the k value here and you have the h value here. So this question is solved. And from today's video, what I want you to take away is, first of all, that root equals to x. This is very, very important to remember because a lot of people get stuck when they are faced with chapter 2 questions simply because they forget that root is equal to x. So when you see something and you see this, make sure to substitute x into the root. And then the next thing that I want you to remember is obviously um, this equation right here, quadratic equation, which is super useful if there's something that you can't solve with your calculator. This is the way to go. Make sure that you do memorize this entire equation. So that's all for today's video. And I'll see you guys on next Tuesday with a brand new and match question.